Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Susie and I'm the owner and creator here at Susie on the Farm. In today's video, I have a small thrift haul, yard sale haul, antique store haul that I have been doing the last couple of weeks. And also, at the end of this video, I have some exciting big changes coming to Susie on the Farm that I can't wait to share with you guys. So stick around. doing a lot of thrifting lately but I have been going to some yard sales or estate sales or something if I see and I do stop in at the thrift store every now and then but I've been very very picky the reason being is um, I've had to inventory all of my stuff and you'll notice I have been posting a few new things on my website that is because I have completely moved out of the Copper Cricut aside from IOD and paint. Um, the store just kind of was moving more towards boutique new items and so a lot of my vintage finds and stuff wasn't selling and it just really wasn't working out for me. I wasn't making enough money to justify it and it was a lot of work so I decided to pull everything out of there for now and there are some big changes coming, but I'm gonna tell you all that in a little bit. First of all, I'm gonna show you a little bit of a haul, and I buy this stuff to flip and sell for a profit on my website or in the store, uh, which we'll get to that later. Um, to begin with, I went to an estate sale, but I don't think it was actually an estate sale. I think it was more like a family yard sale um, where they had decided to sell all of the estate of whoever had passed or moved away or whatever. So I got this cute table runner and six mats for $3. I didn't open it up to check to see if there was any stains on it, but I know that this brand is from Hobby Lobby and it's like a really pretty linen color with embroidered stuff. So it's so pretty. So I got that for myself for Christmas. Um, the one placemat was $5.99 and they all still have their tags on them. So I don't imagine that they have any stains. So that was a good buy. Also at that same estate sale, I paid, I think I paid $3 for this. Don't care anything about the frame, but y'all look at all of the cross stitched hummingbirds. I can do a lot with those. They're different color, like, um, I don't know what you call those, mats or whatever. But I really like the beige ones, and I just think that they are so pretty. And I love anything cross-stitch. I love to cross-stitch, but I don't have time. Oh, I also picked up this chair at an antique mall just because I thought this would be cute to decoupage on. Because I think I'm going to go for that decoupage idea of, you know, um, hanging them on the chairs. I just think that that would be a cool way to display my decoupage papers for sale. If you didn't watch the video where I did this, I think I posted a picture of that idea. I'll put one on the screen here too for y'all. Um, I picked up this, um, I just like the shape of it and I thought it was $1.99. Um, I thought it would be a good like utensil holder and there are many, many things I could do with it that's a little bit raised but you can paint that and put a transfer on it and you will never be able to see it so that will definitely be in an upcoming thrift flip video more than likely i also um this was at an antique store it was four dollars but i love anything rusty and patina and this color and this is enamel and it was just so pretty i had to get it what else did I get at that place? Oh yes, these are the only two things I bought there. And I did pay $15 for all these cast iron keys, but there's seven, yeah, there's seven of them. So that was less than $2 each or about $2 each. So I thought that that was a pretty good deal. They are really heavy. I don't know what I'm gonna do with yet. I'll probably just sell them individually like five or six dollars each. Um, I also, this were at the Goodwill in Gunnersville, two ninety nine. dollars The boxes have never been opened, but they're just the standard spice bottles. 
that you get off Amazon, and I got three packs of six of them. So, um, I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, but I'm sure that I can sell them or use them or whatever for $2.99 each. I'll have to look at what they were on Amazon, but I still feel like that's a pretty good deal. I also got these at the Goodwill in Gunnersville. They look J-Dot. I don't know that they actually are. They are made in China, I think. I paid $1.99 for each of them. But, you know, they look like they're J-Dot, so. Probably sell, so I paid $1.99. I'll probably sell this salt and pepper shaker set for $10 to $12. Um, I picked up at America's Thrift Store in Gardendale these two canisters. This one's $3.99 and this one's $4.99. Unfortunately, I left them in my car for a few days and I think they rolled around some. And the lid to this one, because I remember looking it over really good when I bought it. Um, the lid to this one has got a crack in it now. But this is a good size for a utensil crock. I actually have one of these upstairs. And I just throw the lid away and put a transfer on it and use it for utensils. So that would probably be what I have to do with this one as well. It's a pretty, pretty cream color. Um, at that same America's Thrift Store, I think... Like I need some more wooden bowls, right? I've got so many wooden bowls. Because remember, I picked up a whole bunch at, um, when I went to Lucy's picking through her stuff. But I like the shape of these, um, and I can paint these, make them look cute. They were $2.99 each, which is probably a little high, but I wasn't finding anything else that day. Lots of times, if I'm finding a lot of good stuff, I won't pay much. But if I'm not finding anything, I feel like I need to get something. So, I guess I might have paid a little too much, but those are cute. I like the shape of them. This, I really love the shape of this bowl. I got this at a yard sale. I think it was the only thing I got at that yard sale. It was $2, but I really love the shape. Not so much the color um, of the wood, but we know I can fix that. So, how cute is that bowl? Um, and I've got all that paper mache fruit. I could paint this up and put that fruit and vegetables in. I think I'll probably paint it a light color, either a white or a beige or something like that, and distress it back. I think that it would look so pretty, and that will sell for probably 20, 26 to $28. Dollars. I picked up these little, I don't know what they are. $1.99 and $2.99, but I just thought they would be cute to put in little vignettes. I think you could even just like sit them on a table and put like a little um, succulent in there. That would be so cute in both of them. I hate that they didn't match, but they don't have to go in the same vignette either. I like the natural color of this one, and I really love the dark color of this one as well. Um, I think I got these for a dollar each at the estate sale. They're horsehair brushes. These are cute, too. You can actually put, like, a postcard or something or a photograph or something in these. It's cute. And I just like this one. I don't know what either one of these are used for, but I do know that this horsehair is falling all over the place. Okay, um... Let's see, like I said, not a big haul, but I have I bought a couple of rolling pins. These were $3.99 each. That's about what you're paying for rolling pins anymore. Every now and then you can find something from $1.99. I've got a bunch of rolling pins I need to upcycle. Um, um, I also got several listed on the website um, that I have upcycled. Uh, everything that um, I sell for now is on SusieOnTheFarm.com, and I also sell all of the products that I use to upcycle these items, such as IOD and Fusion Paint. Um, I picked this gorgeous planter up. It's metal. It's got these really nice, like, bronze feet, but I don't like anything else about it except for the feet and the shape. And I think that it would make a beautiful planter. I'm going to fix this up, paint it up, do something with it. And I'm going to do a big arrangement in it. And this will be a high ticket item. 
um, probably about 30 something dollars by the time I get finished with it. I know I haven't done a haul in quite a while and I haven't been really getting in front of the camera much lately because I have been so extremely busy and I'm gonna tell y'all my big news. So if you have been watching my channel for a while, you probably know that I have a full-time job where I'm an insurance agent. I've been doing it for 25 years and I started Susie on the Farm just as a little side hustle and um, even though I was only doing it part-time, things kept progressing and kept growing so much with Susie on the Farm that for the last, I'm gonna say year or so, I have been pretty much working two full-time jobs. I get up at 5.30 in the morning, I pack orders, I go to drop them off, then I go to my job, and then I come home, and then I film, or upcycle, or whatever I need to do, or pack orders, or whatever, I go to bed. I do make sure that I get plenty of sleep. That is one thing that this gal cannot do without is sleep. So I am in the bed, usually by nine o'clock, maybe not asleep by then, but I go to bed and I get plenty of sleep every night because that's the only way that I could have survived the last year doing this. But here lately, oh, I missed showing y'all something in the hall. I'm sorry. I did pick this up for $1.99 at Goodwill. This little, I guess it's a little sugar, uh, but it's got this pretty little brass lid and it's glass and it doesn't have any chips or anything in it. This will sell for probably $12.99. Sorry about that. Okay, so back to my announcement. Um, where'd I get to? Oh yeah, I've just been working my tail off and I really didn't need to. Like there was no reason that I need to be working two jobs anymore. There has been many times in my life where I've needed to and I have done it, um, but I don't need to now. So I have taken a giant leap of faith after much thought, prayer, consideration, all the things have been considered and I have given my notice at my full-time job. As of, the, by the time that y'all see this video, I will have seven more work shifts. And then I'm going to full-time Susie on the farm. I am so excited. It is gonna make a huge difference in my life. I can grow Susie on the farm even more. And what does this mean for you guys? This especially means for you guys, I will have more content. I'm gonna work up a new schedule. I'm trying to hold myself back a little bit now because I still have to get through the next two weeks and then I have a vacation. Um, but after that, I am going to dive right in to Susie on the Farm full time. I plan on doing two videos a week and I'm also going to start doing lives on Facebook. I want to grow my Facebook audience. So if you're not following me over there, I am going to do lives there. I think that is my plan at this point. I struggle now with getting Facebook going because I hate to just post like the same thing I post on YouTube on Facebook, but I just didn't have time to make extra content. It was all I could do to put together one video a week, a week with working my full-time job too. So, I am so excited to tell y'all that there's gonna be more content and more Susie on the farm. I hope you guys will follow along with my journey. This has been, I am, I have mixed feelings about this change in my life because like I said, I have been doing this for so long that it's gonna be a big, big change for me, but I'm so excited and without you guys, I could not do this and it's just a dream come true to me for my full-time job to be creative and not just doing the same things over and over and over again. And just have that creative outlet and also be able to make a living doing it. And that is only because you guys watch my channel, order supplies from me, and I appreciate that so, so, so much. There's gonna be some more stuff, some more changes happening. But for now, that is all that I can share with you guys. So stay tuned. I'll probably do a, a thrift flip video next week. And I'm also going to be posting stuff on the website 
if you see something that you like, be sure to check that out. And um, so yeah, leave a comment below. Let me know your guys' thoughts on this. I'm scared, I'm nervous, but I'm so, so very excited about this opportunity to be able to not have to work so hard all the time. But I know myself and I'm probably gonna work harder, to be honest. I'll just have more time to do it in now. So um, yeah, that's some pretty big news for Susie on the farm. And I hope you guys are excited and I can't wait to spend more time with you. And I can't wait to do the live so I can have interaction. I have not been able to do lives up to this point because uh, crappy internet here out in the country where I live, but I have got that taken care of and I'll explain more about that as the weeks go by. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I'll see you again next week.